Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gitty Mary and once again I'm bringing this video to you from a different spot in my apartment. It will continue to be this way until I have fully set up so that's what it is for now. I realized that it's been a while since I did one of the zero waste versus supermarket videos and now that I've moved into the center of the city I have walking distance to one of the bougiest supermarkets in Aalborg. And previously we've done a lot of videos where I go to different types of supermarkets and see what I can find zero waste. Many of the supermarkets we've gone to have been in the lower like discount end. Um, so I thought it could be fun to do something in the complete other direction to see if a higher price tag means that things will be more sustainable. That's what we're gonna find out today. But before we do so, this video is sponsored. This video is sponsored by REN. REN is a carbon offsetting platform that's also a long-term partner of mine. I've been working with them for a really long time and if you have been on this channel for a hot second, you know that I'm quite skeptical when it comes to carbon offsetting and that entire industry. However, REN's platform is pretty cool. So you sign up with a monthly donation and then you can track where your money is going and choose different kinds of projects that feel inspiring inspiring, interesting and motivating to you. And they have a bunch of projects that you can choose to support from natural conservation to political initiatives to sustainable energy, which is one of my favorite ones when it comes to carbon offsetting, because carbon offsetting is a lot more than just planting a tree which is actually one of the least effective types of carbon offsetting. However, REN is doing a lot of the things that really, really matters. So I definitely recommend checking them out. Also, the first 100 people to sign up using my link below will get their first month of subscription covered by REN. Thank you so much to REN for sponsoring this video. Now, let's see if the Bushi supermarket in Aalborg is sustainable. So nice and easy packing up my canvas bags. I'm bringing two big bags and two smaller bags for smaller things. And then I'm bringing a solid container because I have been to this store before. I do know sort of what it's about. I haven't looked at it like in the details and only focused on zero waste items, but I do know that they have like a bulk deli section. So I'll see if there's anything, first of all, that's vegan. And second of all, if they will allow me to use my own container. That's what we'll be looking for. Okay, let's go. Typically I visit this store for wine, gifts, snacks, oils, jams, etc. So I haven't looked that much at their produce section or their dried food, so I'm pretty excited about that. The store is at the bottom of a Danish department store and it shows both visually, but things are also definitely more expensive here. I worked my way through the produce section and you'll see in a bit how difficult that was. The only plastic free pasta here was the typical lasagna sheets, but they are almost always without plastic. Some products almost tricked me into thinking less plastic was used, but the plastic bag was actually just inside the box. I saw some pretty interesting products that did intrigue me, however, now the moment of truth. Okay. heavy. I'm back home. I got a few things. This was no easy task, even though they did have plenty of packaging in cardboard and glass, etc. But the sustainable packaging wasn't really everyday products, but they were always additions to everyday products. So things that are more occasion specific. So the everyday products were wrapped in just in conventional ways, like with plastic. And their greens and veg and like fruit. I have seen so many more options in much cheaper stores. Most things were wrapped in plastic, even things where I was a little just curious as to why would they wrap this in plastic. Anyway, I did get a few things that weren't wrapped in plastic. We got the onions, just a sticker on it. I'm glad that I brought my small canvas bags because they didn't really have anything other than um, like the small plastic bags to use. Some grocery stores today in Denmark, or like not today, but right now, or just recently, have started having uh, reusable bags that you can buy and then reuse over and over, sort of just to nudge people into not using the plastic ones, but bringing their own or bringing things more times, which I think is really nice. This was not the case here, um, but I did get my onions. I forgot to weigh it myself though, so I had to go back after I got all the other things and then weigh them. Experience many times that you weigh something and then they weigh it at the register as well to make sure you're not like 
stealing onions. Um, but they didn't do that at all. They just trust people. I guess people that shop there frequently have no need to steal things. I don't know. Then I got some clementines. There were more options for fruit than there were for vegetables when it came to like plastic free solutions. And I use these as a snack constantly. So those will be devoured pretty fast. Then I got two pears. Um, I am of the opinion that pears are superior to apples. My mind cannot be changed. I have started using pears both as snacks but also in cooking all the time. And I honestly like pears way more than I like apples at this point. Uh, you could get pears without plastic. You could also get pears so thoroughly wrapped in plastic. I have no idea why they thought that was necessary. We're talking styrofoam box, cling film, everything. Like, it's a pear. I don't know why this supermarket was so pointly intent on using so much plastic. There was a lot of plastic. So for fruit and veg, um, we don't have a lot of options. I did, however, get a butternut squash and there is a sticker on it, which is fine. Um, it's even organic. Usually a lot of organic things uh, end up being wrapped in plastic more so than the conventional products. And one of the reasons why that is, is often because that the organic products need to differentiate themselves from the conventional produce and they do that by packaging. So you can see very easily if it's organic or not. I like when companies are trying to do more things that require less packaging, like using a sticker instead of wrapping it completely in plastic. So this is really nice. And I really wanted to get a bottom of squash actually, because I have a recipe idea in mind that I want to use this for. So two birds, I guess. Then I got a green pepper and you could get plastic free, both red, yellow, and green pepper. I think green pepper is the best pepper. My mind, once again, cannot be changed. I think this is the best pepper. I think red pepper has a very distinct flavor. I, way too often, I can taste it in sauces, and if it, especially if it's heated, I like cooked. I don't like red pepper when it's cooked at all. I think it tastes way too overpowering, and it just sort of completely removes all other flavor nuances. Um, I do love green pepper way, way more. That's my jam. And lastly, we do have the cauliflower. This was one of the bigger vegetables that you could get without plastic. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty conventional one to find. You can usually find cauliflower without plastic. Uh, so nothing to see here, nothing new, but I did appreciate it. And I haven't made cauliflower wings in forever. So I think I want to make cauliflower wings at some point. Okay, then drinks. They do have quite a nice selection of glass bottles of different juices and stuff. Um, I love these lemonades. So I got myself one of these and I can just preface my purchases that you'll see in a second. I can sort of preface it all by saying, when in Rome, I got some things that I wouldn't have gotten in normal grocery stores, but if I didn't get the fancy things, I wouldn't have gotten anything but a cauliflower and clementine. So I did use this shopping experience as an opportunity to get some things I'm curious about. Let it be known. I also got a can of kombucha. Both glass and aluminium do have quite an impact when it comes to single-use packaging. But in Denmark, we have the return system, which is a really effective system with a really high recycling rate. So I don't feel bad about using these materials at all because the recycling rate is really high. And in many cases, they don't even take the material apart to put it back together again. They just wash the material, they wash the packaging and then ship it back out, which is really cool. So, got some drinks. Also got wine. I told you when in Rome, I got two bottles of wine because there was a sale. So you could get one and then you could get another one and then you only had to pay for one of them. And it's a de-alcoholized wine, so there's no alcohol in this. I do drink alcohol, but I also like to have other options. And I have a wine rack right there. So we're slowly filling her up with different options. Spices is sort of a thing where I become annoyed pretty quickly in a lot of grocery stores. So, so often you cannot find any spices without packaging. Sometimes you're really lucky and you find some small metal tins, which is really nice because they're also easy to reuse and they have very minimal plastic. They did have those at this store as well, but they were placed in a different location from the rest of the spices. I thought that they only had this really nice looking brand where it's also a metal tin, but I know for a fact that on the inside there's a plastic uh, bag. And I know that because they tricked me before. 
and I thought I was uh, getting something without plastic and I didn't. So now I don't buy those anymore. Anyway, sauces. I got ketchup. Um, glass bottle ketchup, incredible and inefficient, but I love it. Um, this store has so many sauces, chutneys, jams, pestos, oils, all kinds of things, so many options and a lot of really nice options and a lot of glass options. So if I'm going to give credit where credit is due, it would be in that department because holy damn, they had so many different options to choose from and a lot of different options from this brand as well. And I love that one. I have the uh, mustard as well. Um, so many oils, also some really funky ones overall where the packaging is funky or where the tastes I like the flavors are funky. Um, just a lot of really interesting things. I couldn't possibly go through all of them, but like that was really interesting. And usually whenever I'm at this store, I like to sort of go through that section and just look at all the different types of oil. I think it's really fun. Anyway, I also got the vegan mayo. I think I've showed you this once before. Uh, Hellman is not the best company to support, to be honest. It's a Unilever brand. Um, we're not here for it overall. Unilever is not a great company. This is one of my compromises overall. I do like to make my own mayo, but when it comes to mayo that I'm having with chips, this is the best one. And I don't even bother having any of those things if it's not this one. So I do get that for that type of occasion, but I do know it's not the best option out there in terms of sustainability or in terms of ethical labor by no by no means so let it be known i'm a hypocrite i got chocolate spread for the first time in ages they had three different kinds of vegan chocolate spread which i think was pretty nice um and i landed on uh, this one here we are this is uh, this is the one that i got i haven't tasted this one before so i think we should taste it together hmm it's not the best one i've had um, but I can use this in baking and on top of toast, etc. And this is something that I would love on a Sunday morning. She splurged. She definitely splurged. Speaking of splurge, I didn't get any spices, but I did get dried flowers because that did seem to be... Where are we at? There we are. It did seem to be a bougie theme. So I got these flowers also because this jar is perfect for storage of other things later. And then I can use this for arranging dishes, also for the cookbook and for recipes. So there were so many dried flowers, so many dehydrated things, so many dried stuff. Um, just overall, there was definitely um, an overall theme. I got something from the deli section. Not a lot of things in that deli section was vegan, not gonna lie. Uh, we did have some like seaweed salad and I think that was it. Then we got this as well and this is spring rolls. I don't know what they taste like. I just know that they're filled with vegetables. It looks like cabbage, onion, carrot, stuff like that. And then I'll need to pop this in the oven. I'll do these for lunch today. Um, but funny story with this deli section. So I walk up to the counter and I ask if the spring rolls that are just labeled vegetable spring rolls, if they are vegan, if there are like butter, eggs, anything like that in them. And the woman behind the cashier, she was very enthusiastic and she, she asks me sort of, yeah, I can ask, do you want me to ask, like very hectic, honestly, a little bit, just, do you want me to figure out if they're completely vegan? We also have some other things like by the freezer uh, that you might want to take a look at, come with me. And then she just like maneuvers me into the freezer section where there's another employee and she says to him, go to like the back freezer and see what we have left of the beetroot something something I couldn't hear the rest of it and then she just walks back and she yells at me from across the store if this doesn't work out just come back we'll figure out with the with the spring rolls and I was really curious that she just didn't sell me the spring rolls that I asked about anyway this guy comes back with a huge basket of these pre-packaged pre-made beetroot patties for burgers and I just look at him and says thank you so much um I asked her about some spring rolls and he just goes dead in the face, just, okay, um, seems there's been a, an error in our communication there and just, I'm so sorry, just, I'm, I'm so sorry, go back to the deli counter and she's just, 
Oh, so yeah, they are vegan, by the way. It's all fine. I don't know what that was about. That was a weird detour through beetrootville. I don't know why that happened. Anyway, I just asked her if I could get two spring rolls in my own container. She put them in my container. She put the little receipt with, um, with the barcode on top and that was it, super simple. And this was everything that I got at this store. Considering how big this store is and how many things that are there, the more sustainable options, not overflowing. There are some plastic free options in terms of packaging, but not a lot of things were organic, not a lot of things were fair trade and didn't really seem like that was a big priority. And I get why it's not a big priority in many other types of stores as well, but when you're already going the extra mile to make things more luxurious, why not make people get paid well? I don't know. I don't understand. This has not been the most successful zero waste versus supermarket trip, in my humble opinion. I don't know. I'll use these things throughout the uh, the week and see how that goes. Oh, I really want to taste the kombucha as well, by the way, while you're here. So one second. Here we are. Okay. How are we? Okay. Oh, almost clear. Mmm. This does not taste like kombucha at all, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, I guess it is. If it says it's kombucha, it's probably kombucha. It just doesn't taste like any of the kombuchas I've had before. It does taste like mixed berries, but it is also with the mixed berries. Not the most successful haul. Um, this is definitely a store to visit if you're curious about more like special occasion things. And it's a store that I'll visit every once in a while to see what kind of sauces or oils or spices that they have. It's not a store that I'm going to go to for my everyday regular grocery shopping because in terms of produce, wasn't really it. But for like more specific things, it might actually be really cool. And um, for wine, it's really nice. They have a lot of options. Um, yeah, I think that was it. This was the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. Leave me a comment down below if you have a type of store that you would like me to visit and see if I can shop zero waste there. I will definitely be bringing this series back also now that I live closer to a bunch of different stores. So we'll definitely be doing that. Thank you so much for watching. And also a big thank you to Ren for sponsoring this video. I hope that you liked it. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!